Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on the Boom Bag Kong Cobra Reflex Bag. So check it out. All right guys, so before I do the review of this reflex bag, let me give you guys a quick close up of the bag. Starting from the top, you have the foam filled ball that has kind of that rubberized texture at the very top. Uh, very similar to the ringside uh, reflex bag and the fact that uh, it's one of the very few that use a foam ball rather than an inflated uh, ball with a bladder. Um, then you come down to the aluminum collar that has a, uh, basically a screw that goes through to hold the ball into place. You have a foam collar to protect your gloves or your hands. So if you do land off, uh, off center, you don't hit the uh, metal bar. Uh, you also have the aluminum bar that goes down into uh, the heart of the system, which is going to be your spring. Uh, it is welded on to the bar. You notice that it does have one tack weld at the top. It comes in this kind of orange colorway. And you'll notice that the coil is kind of in between like the fierce reflex and the ring side. The ring side, the coils are completely uh, flush with each other where the, the fierce reflex and even like uh, my Culus one back there, uh, the springs are further apart and gives you a, little, a lot more of that kind of that rebound. Uh, you do have an adjustable height knob right here, more of the aluminum poles that comes down to the base. You'll see that it has four acorn nuts that holds it to the base plate that has a couple hex nuts. Um, and then underneath this is going to be the uh, water plug uh, that you, uh, you put in, just made out of rubber. You can fill this uh, base, just like a lot of the other bases that you use with uh, these this equipment. You can either fill it with water or sand and or both. Um, this one actually has like some combat sport uh, pictures kind of imprinted into the base, which is kind of corny, but cool at the same time. So you have that on there. And then at the very bottom, you have the suction cups that are uh, screwed in with the machine screw uh, to give yourself um, a little bit more of a, a, a robust base. Um, Boom Bag also sells uh, a second version of this in uh, without the actual water-filled base. It just comes with suction cups, uh, which I'm not a big fan of, but um, there you have it. Let's go ahead and do the review. Hey guys, Carlo here and today I'm doing a review on the Boom Bag Kong Cobra Reflex Bag. This bag retails for $299. They also have another version where the base is just suction cups. It doesn't come with the water filled base and it's $10 cheaper at $289. Although I would opt to spend the extra 10 bucks and get this version because the water or sand filled base is much more stable and in turn you get better performance uh, out of the Cobra bag. Uh, in addition, you also get a pair of these boxing gloves. They're really cheap, not good quality. The foam on here is really bad. Uh, but if you don't have a pair of boxing gloves at home, you're starting off. Um, you can use these probably for a couple of days, um, but I would recommend uh, getting yourself a good pair of boxing gloves. Uh, that way you can really train the way you're supposed to rather than using these. Now, like I mentioned in the close-up of this bag, this bag really reminds me of a hybrid between a ringside Cobra bag and the Fierce uh, fierce Reflex bag. And like if the Fierce Reflex and the ringside had a baby, this would be this bag. Um, starting from the top down, you have the foam filled uh, ball or bag if you want to call it. That's much different than what you see out there. The only other Cobra bag I know that does this is going to be ringside. Tide also has a, a foam filled ball, but it's a little bit of a different shape. It's more round where this one is teardrop style, but it's exactly the same size as the ringside one, same texture, same material even the same uh, density in foam. You have that foam collar up top, which is nice. That way you can protect your hands or your gloves if you're off target. Uh, aluminum pole, and then obviously the heart of the operation is going to be the coil spring. You'll notice that this spring, the coils aren't flush together like the ring side. So you get a little bit more of a faster rebound with this, but it's not quite spread apart like the Fierce Reflex or even the Q-less. Uh, cover bag and you can kind of see the difference with the culus I have here where the coil is much more spread apart and you have that separation which gives you much more erratic and quicker uh, rebound together with the inflated ball where this 
just kind of side by side, you see the coils are much closer together. So it gives you a little bit more of a heavier, a little bit more of a mechanical feel when you hit the, the bag. Um, you do have an adjustment knob. I'd say at its lowest setting, where it's at right now, I'm five foot eight. So I'd say maybe about something that's like five, five or five, six that can hit it. Um, and you can fully, you can adjust it all the way up to somebody that's about six foot five. Uh, so plus or minus between that, um, definitely not built for uh, for youth or some a kid unless your, your child is extremely tall for their age. Uh, and that's not to say you can get like a box or a chair or something to stand on to hit this, but it's definitely, to me, as far as height wise, built for adults. You have the water filled base, which I filled up with water. I didn't weigh it. It's probably roughly about 90, 80 to 90 pounds. And just like a lot of the other um, Chinese made Cobra bags, the bottom uses those uh, suction cups that you, you, um, you screw into the bottom, which is, a com is completely a necessity. If you don't use the suction cups uh, with this bag, it's gonna shake around way too much. So uh, if you don't have a floor or a surface in your home or your gym that is slick where the suction cups can adhere to, uh, this bag is gonna be a waste of money to be quite frank with you. I mean, you could use it, but it's just gonna be flopping all over the place and it just kind of defeat defeats the whole purpose of the Cobra bag. So. The suction cups are definitely a must. You have to use those in my opinion. Otherwise, uh, you're just not gonna enjoy using this bag. Um, the way I would describe this bag is that, like the ringside one, it's it's a heavier feel. Meaning by, by that, by that I mean when you hit it, you have to hit it a little bit harder than you would like the, the Fierce Reflex bag or the Q-less bag uh, in order for it to move. So you're kind of using a little bit more energy as you train. So kind of get a better, a better workout when you're using this, as far as conditioning goes. You get your heart rate up quicker, just because the, the surface of this, when you're punching it, it's a lot more pronounced compared to uh, the Fierce Bag. Now, it's not as quick, which I know a lot of you guys will not like, is you like that quick action, you'd like to be able to fire off combinations, and you still can with this bag, don't get me wrong, but it definitely doesn't move as fast as the Fierce Reflex or the q Bag, in my opinion. Um, but you get a little bit of a trade off with that with the workout you get. It is definitely quicker than the ringside bag and even the title boxing uh, Cobra bag. So that's the good news is that it's, a, it's definitely quicker than those uh, in regards to the, the, the rebound action. And you can hit it with really good shots. It's not very noisy. So if you're going to use this like in an apartment, maybe you live in a townhome, you live somewhere where you're connected to another tenant or a neighbor and uh, you don't want to piss them off by making too much noise. Uh, again, as long as you can use the suction cups, this doesn't make too much noise. I mean, the loudest thing is probably just going to be your gloves hitting the ball itself. That's probably the noisiest part about this. And it takes a while for the spring to break in. It's still a little bit stiff. I've been working on it. So you can see, you can still fire off decent amount of combinations, you can work on your head movement, you can work uppercuts. Because of that upside down teardrop style, you have that taper in the bag so you, you can land an uppercut and feel like you're actually throwing an uppercut rather than into a, a bag that's just completely vertical. You can work on hooks too. I mean, if you just want to do single shots, you can do that. You can see, you can hear the bottom of it lift up, lift it up. I need a, Make sure that suction cup's on there good. You can hit it with some good, good amount of power. You speed, work your jabs. And these gloves suck. You can already feel my finger poking through on the foam. I'd rather them just lower the price and not even include the gloves because I'm sure they have to increase the price to account for including a pair of these oven mitts. So you can see performance wise it does a really nice job uh, for what it is. Again it's definitely a heavier uh, feeling bag than the Fierce Reflex. If you guys have ever hit the ringside Cobra bag, it feels just like that in terms of the weight of the bag. 
but this one moves smoother than the ringside. It doesn't have that mechanical clicky feel to it like the ringside one does. So again, I would say right in between the two. Cost-wise, this glove, this glove, this bag is uh, three hundred dollars. Uh, for those of you that are going to say, "Well, is it worth it?" I definitely would recommend this over the ringside bag, um, but still not as good as the Fierce Reflex. Uh, with that being said, the Fierce Reflex is also uh, more expensive. But I mean, if you're already three hundred dollars in the hole, and you really want something that performs well. Um, I would go with the Fierce uh, or even get yourself a keyless bag and make it yourself. But if I were to pick between like ringside title boxing um, and this bag, I would definitely go with this one. Um, one thing I do like about this compared to the Amazon one, I did a review on the Amazon bag. That one performs better than this, but the quality is not as good. Uh, like after some time, the aluminum starts to kind of get uh, like the screws on it kind of strip out and whatnot or the, the, the bladder and the ball would deflate. So uh, that's one advantage you have with this bag is that it's just a foam ball. There's nothing that you have to inflate. So you don't really have to really worry about having to replace the bladder or replace the ball if it ends up popping or deflating on you. So a couple things just to kind of consider. Uh, but overall, pretty solid bag. Um, you know, the quality on it is it's pretty good. I'd say, you know, the painting could have been done better. Some of the tack welds aren't the best. Uh, but other than that, it's a pretty solid entry in the saturated cover bag market um, and, a, and, a, and a good choice at a mid-tier level uh, for a cover bag. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find this Boom Bag Kong Cobra Reflex Bag. I'll see you guys later.